story of this game. Kirsten Davis now taken down by Desiree Scott. And she needs to be, oh boy, here it goes. <laughs> Earning a That's second, her second yellow. second yellow. And a red card, Desiree Scott is now out of this game and Kansas City will play down a player for the final just under 15 minutes of this game, Christine. Yeah, I mean, she went into that tackle. All she had to do was just bring her foot out. Davis was already by her, so I'm not sure why she continued through on that tackle. And that is a huge blow for Kansas City to lose their defensive midfielder. Curious to see how they shift their formation now, if at all, because you think that they're going to be pushing to get Take away, Ali, pushed by Lucy, and we got a card for Lucy. That's her second. So now Angel City is playing a woman down. Lucy, her second yellow card. You can see the frustration on Lucy's face. Amir Ali gets the inside shoulder. Oh. Lucy does put her left arm on Amir Ali's shoulder right there, and then it's the feet caught up. That's what it is. That's the foul. A little aggressive to be a yellow. Now it's DeMello. Good defending. Help between Vigiano and Schmidt. Now it's Salmon against Murray. Self pass from Salmon. She goes down. Free kick given. Really crafty play from Ebony Salmon. Second yellow shown, Satara Murray sent off. Two yellows in the first half for Satara Murray. A tough homecoming back in Houston. And Ebony Salmon doing a good job of attacking that back foot of Murray. Murray gets squared up and that's exactly where Salmon wants her. She takes her aggressive first touch past her and Murray pulls her down from behind earning her second yellow card and this is completely going to change the complexion of the game for Racing Louisville. Murray sent off. Former Dash player. Her second. Looks like a yellow card will be given to Midge Purse, and that is red. It was so innocent there from Purse. She was just standing in the way. And now it's a second yellow card. Gotham will go down to 10 players. And now Adumanu will get a yellow card as well for descent. What a twist to the tail here just before the hour mark. And Mitch first encroaches, gets closer to the ball as the free kick is taken. She is shocked. And another string of unfortunate events for Gotham as they now go down to 10 players. I could read lips. It looked like she was saying something about the whistle and that she was waiting for the whistle to finally back off. Usually players stand in front of the ball just to slow things down. They'll back away, but Houston was ready to play, and that is the first red card of the season for Gotham. And this task just got a whole lot more difficult. And here Jacob's looking to send it long. Purse gets her foot up. Whether she's trying to delay, she encroaches and comes forward, and the referee believes that she deserves a second yellow. I mean, by the letter of the law, it, it is a yellow card. It is, it is. But Softly jogging toward it. See the wheel spinning. Kansas City has kicked off against Washington, almost a quarter of an hour in there and scoreless. Now a Portland win and a Kansas City loss would clinch Portland a home playoff game. A Portland win and a San Diego loss would push oh. them a bye. Where did that come from? 
St. George sent off. That came out of nowhere. Chris Petroselli looking for an answer. Now having a chat with Bianca St. George. Frustration in that exact play because it actually tipped off of Megan Klingenberg and I think St. George was just a little flustered that softly dying toward it. See the wheels spinning. He wanted to a good save by Nair. Talked about Dahlkemper having a yellow card. And it looks like she got another one to equal the red. Just handed the captain's armband off to Alex Morgan. Yeah, we'll see it there. Pretty obvious. Again, watching the replay, we see there few the frustrations. You can hear the crowd. I knew it was bad. Well, so much for the continuity between Germa and Dahlkemper. Maybe a different story if it were still 11 v 11, but this one has been in hand for a while now, and a foul here, edge of the area, just outside the area, after a brilliant move from Sugita. Great footwork by Sugita here. She gets her defender 1v1, pulls it back. Oh, wow, that is something you work on by yourself for hours in the backyard or after training. And for that foul, that foul from behind, Zoe Morris picks up a second yellow. And what did we just say a few moments ago? You hope to get through the last few minutes of this game without any injuries or any more red cards that impact you going into the last game of the season next week. Zoe Morris has started every single game of the season for Chicago. And there will be just one she doesn't, the last one, probably the most important one. So it's St. George and, and it's Morse they'll be missing next week. And it didn't feel like a yellow card challenge to me. I disagree. Did it? You did? You yeah, the she was, one? she was home free in the box there. It looked like she the pulled her, from behind. Oh, there was a pull. I, I saw the foot, so if there's a pull, I agree with you. Either way, trip or pull from behind. She's going into the box alone. I, I think the yellow's warranted. Yeah. You don't always have to.